inequalities in one variable. Al Ashma. All right, when taking a quiz in class, are you ever annoyed when you're asked to come up with a single answer to a problem? Curse those test makers, limiting your imagination. Yeah. But wouldn't it be nice if you could instead supply a range of answers so you can, you know, paint with all the colors of the wind? Remember that song? Ask your parents. All right, well, that's sort of what inequalities do. With equations, you've got the stuff on side A exactly equal to the stuff on side B. But with inequalities, there's room for a bit more uh, flexibility, you know, like this. If you have a strict inequality, one of these guys, you know, right here, then the value of one side will be everything higher, or lower, than the other. Yeah, like this, and this, and this. If, on the other hand, you have a less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to symbol, your solution would still be a range, but it would include the given value. For example, if a plus 1 is greater than 3, then a is the range of all values that, when added to 1, outputs a value greater than, but not including 3. All right, we'll turn that sucker into a greater than or equal to symbol, and now you can include b. You'll be so thrilled. Inequalities are obviously simpler when you're only dealing with a single variable. And any time we can further simplify an inequality of one variable, it just makes the range of correct solutions easier to see. Unfortunately, when asked to solve an inequality problem on a test, you'll still probably be asked for just a single answer. And yeah, Big Brother is alive and well. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmook.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.